Okay, there's Wheeler. There's Upshaw. There's Andy Young. This show right here, guys, ridiculous. Okay, like so I was really excited about all the shows that we shot for Discovery Channel this year, 2020, and this is episode seven uh, in the series, SMC Week. But this show right here was is probably the neatest adventure, right? So first of all, we go up to Canada. We rent a houseboat from Rainy Lake Houseboats, and, and Jacob Wheeler and I versus Andy Young and Andrew Upshaw, and we get hardcore challenge here. A trash talking going on, big fish, pike, bass, it, you name it, we caught it. It was an awesome show. So check this out, old Jay Will and I on a team. Good stuff. Well, I tell you what, guys, I'm excited about today's show. You know why? Because I'm here at one of my favorite places in the world, Rainy Lake International Falls, right here at Rainy Lake Houseboats. We're gonna take the houseboats out on Rainy Lake and do a little team challenge. That's right. You know who my teammate is? My good buddy, Jacob Wheeler, number one angler in the world. We're gonna be fishing against Andy Young. He beat me last time, and my good buddy, Andrew Upshaw. This is gonna be a team challenge for the ages. I'll tell you what, guys, the day has finally come. I've been telling you about this all year, and you too, Wheeler. I mean, Andy, Andy and I have been here before. How awesome is Rainy Lake? It's as good as it gets, man. It's it's the golden ticket. It really it's is. Awesome. And it's such a big fishery. And and we're doing it in style right here. We've got the Chairman 2 houseboat from Rainy Lake Houseboats right here at International Falls. This is one of the premier fisheries for not only smallmouth, but big pike. We've got a challenge today, boys. Rainy Lake is right on the border of Minnesota and Canada. We're right here in International Falls on the Minnesota, the United States side and we're gonna do some hardcore fishing. We're gonna take the Rainy Lake houseboats out on the lake, moor it up to an island. We've got our bass boats. Yeah. It's gonna be a really, really neat trip. We've got a chef on the boat to prepare meals for us. We're gonna have an absolute ball. And when you think about like a place to go to a vacation, International Falls, Rainy Lake, it, it, to me, it's like the most beautiful fishery on the planet. I mean, it's so pristine. That's the thing, it's like we're out here right now, you just look at it, it's like, you don't see any boats, you know, and that, that's something, my first time up here, going on this houseboat trip, man, it's, it's, it's something that's truly special. Oh, it's the, it's the way to experience Rainy Lake. It's gonna be a simple challenge, guys. Simple challenge. Simple. Five fish limit, best five win, and we're gonna do a toothy critter challenge. So whoever gets the biggest toothy critter, like a pike or maybe a walleye, wins that award. So, perfect. what do you think? I what think, do you think? It now, I think great. I think losers, losers have to, losers, have to sign their hats away Ooh, to cool. the winners. Oh. I, I really, that, I like that Wheeler fishing hat. Yeah. I, I that think that'll look good. good. Yeah. That looks good, man. Sign our hats away. Sign our right. hats yeah. away. Let's try okay. not to lose. I'm down. Let's good. try not to lose. <laughs> so guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fish hard. Let's get it going. You ready? All right. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready, dude. Let's, Let's go. Keep this going. Now, I haven't been here in two years. It's going to be just like anything else. We're going to have to figure it yeah, out, dude. Absolutely. And you're one of the best at figuring it out, so I'm glad I got you in the boat. <laughs> and I'm more excited. Actually, serious note, I'm so excited to be able to hang out with him because he's Seriously. been doing the MLF stuff. He did the elites, and we just haven't been able to actually fish together. We so I'm excited about that, years. dude. I want Seriously. to learn a few things, and I know you guys want to learn a few things watching this guy fish. So let's get after it. Hey, uh, Andy. We're we about got, to put the smack down on these boys. And you know the cool part is we got Jacob Wheeler, he's number one in the world. And yeah. Scott Martin, we got nothing else. We got nah, nothing to lose. Nah. If, if we win, it's it's big feather we're, in our we're, cap, Hey, yeah. we're gonna go chunk of top water. Yep. Have some fun, catch some bass, and smoke them today. Yeah. Oh, How yeah. about it? Oh, Let's yeah. do it. We'll beat them for sure. All right, man. We'll beat them. All right. We'll start up this way, fish down through this little marsh. Man, this place is cool. A lot of wind, a little bit of rock. So what are we gonna do, Scott? What's the plan? Plan is we need to find some protected water. Wind's gonna blow pretty hard today. It's gonna make it difficult to kind of get around. So we need to find a good area yeah. with some protection. And and look, these smallmouth, they kind of stay shallow on this lake. A lot of people think you gotta get out deep, but I think we can catch them up shallow. Spinner baits, chatter baits, flipping, really? all that kind of stuff goes down on this lake. It's pretty cool. Almost like largemouth. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. 
I want people to watch this video to learn, not only to learn how to fish and what decisions to make based on the weather, but also how to find fish. We haven't been here. I mean, I've been here two years ago, but look, it was two years ago. It's not like the fish are gonna be doing the exact same thing. So, and some good entertainment, because that's what we're about. Yeah. Heck yeah. That'll work. Woohoo! Couple pounder. Yeah. Better than nothing. <laughs> Better than nothing. Here's the first one, Scotty. Pike. Pike, pike, pike! Oh! Toothy critter! Uh, I'm probably, probably not, I'm probably not gonna win. I don't know if that's a good deal. Oh, I got one too. Scott, you, you made me drive all the way up here to Rainy Lake and we're going pike fishing. The son of a gun. Took well, me out of the pike hole. We gotta win. We gotta we, win I don't mind getting a big one. We gotta win the Toothy Critter Award, my friend. I don't think that's gonna happen though. That there one right there. We'll let him go. He's not gonna win the Toothy Critter Challenge. But hey, it's a bite. Yeah. Look at that. There we go. Nice, dude. Good job, bro. Look at you. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. You make there me nervous, go. man. You make me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> we got this one, Scotty. That's what's up, hey. He's a pretty good guy. <laughs> he said, oh, we think we get a bite right here. That's good. I did. First Heck topwater yeah. fish too, hey. Throw a crazy looking thing. I don't even know what the thing is, dude. <laughs> but you're gonna tell me later on. I, I'm in secret. <laughs> <laughs> two pounder. Right, two pounder. Stick him in the box. You know All how right. to do it. Let's do it. There's there's, there's Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's a good one. Yeah! Ooh, there we go. Dude, I'm glad <laughs> I got you on my team, my friend. <laughs> hey. Scott, hey now. just missed that one. Hey that right there. And literally lost one and just caught that one right there. Yeah. It's a good start. I'm getting hit, dude. Like, they're knocking slack in my line. I'm just not hooking them, dude. But I'm sure glad you're mopping up behind me, man. Because Pushing up the tree. tree. Just, hey. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> awesome. Number two. Keep it going. There he is again. Yeah, this is the same bait that I won. Uh, Cherokee on the ship. Is it really? Yeah, it's cool. the same exact little. Is striking that just green pumpkin? Truck. Yeah, it's just straight green nice. pumpkin, like nothing crazy. Well, yeah. flip shake head and, you know, just kind of throw it. It's a target bait, you know, like, yeah. and that's what we're kind of doing. We're kind of throwing a little crevices, a, a boulder here, a, a lay down there, and that's a great way to catch fish mm -hmm. and cover water. You know, yeah. Andy's throwing the, the famous Ned Rig, which is another uh, great way to catch them on targets like we're doing right now. And if you notice, when we throw this little wacky rig or even the net rig out there, we're, we're throwing it out there, letting it sink, shaking it a few times, throwing it back in and casting back out. And that's, and that's the whole idea behind target fishing with finesse baits that a lot of people don't really understand. Like, you know, they think you gotta drag the thing right, all the way to the right. boat, fish super slow. And we're almost power finesse fishing at this right. point. You know, what we're doing, you guys, in, in this little bay here, is we're looking for rock. And, and we're fishing these little these little marsh areas, but if you can find the marsh areas that have a lot of boulders or flat rock, like right here in front of us, that grass won't grow. You know, like the grass is out here in six and seven, but it, it kind of stops growing in this three to all the way to the, to the bank where that rock is, and those fish will be sitting up their feet on crayfish. I think that could be the pattern today. Those, both of those fish you caught were in those same exact spot. Yeah, exactly, you know, a swim jig with little orange pinchers, exactly what you want, you know, I mean, that's, I mean, that kind of stuff like that is just something you can run as a pattern. You run around and fish that exact stuff. It's sometimes hard to find though. And it's something that's very unique when you go out here on these fisheries. You know, each place is, ooh, what is that one bite right there? Really? He, I just seriously did. <laughs> each place is really unique, you know? And, and this little bay right here, I guess these fish don't leave. I mean, I assume. Yeah, this is pretty shallow fish little bay. Here. Yeah, I mean, they'll move out eventually, but right now they're up shallow. And here's how you find a lot of these little veins of rocks either physically seeing them with polarized glasses like you can see here, but also pay attention to the contours of the land. We have an island here and the little vein of rock. So you can see that. So we assume that that vein of rock there is probably gonna pepper its way across here. And it does, because you can see it connects. So we know there's a vein of rock that goes right there and that's where we're catching those fish. So you just gotta pay attention you know, to the shorelines, pay attention where the grass is and where the rocks are. If you do that, you can find the smallmouth. Oh. 
That's a pretty good one. Oh, you got him good. <laughs> you got him like a football. <laughs> <laughs> good job, pal. That's what I'm talking about. Son, look at that. That's a stud there. Yeah. Heck yeah. Sweet, dude. Windy. It's windy, windy bank. bank. Yeah. That's a three pounder. Yeah, oh yeah. For We're going sure. in the box. All day, all day. Dude, I don't know where they're at. I mean, I've been like literally looking around this lake, and it's not very big area that we're in right now. I don't see them, dude. There's some little sneak hole. They've done, took off somewhere special. Andy's got some special hole or something, probably where he beat me last time. Hammer hole. Yeah, hammer hole. Where you at, Andy? But good one. That feels pretty good. All right. Yeah, buddy. Woohoo! Heck yeah. Hey. Hey. Now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> Look at he choked that. Choked thing. it. Choked that thunder chicken. Thunder chicken, baby. Thunder chicken. That's a good one too, bud. Yeah. Scott, you're going down today, buddy. With the wind blowing like it is today, it's gonna be all about moving baits, chatter baits, spinner baits, covering a lot of water, fishing high percentage places. You know, it's got a little bit dialed in, but we got a we got a long way to go. Andy and Nubshaw are they're not gonna be easy to beat. That's for sure. Bacon, dude. Okay, I'm gonna there we go. Here we go, buddy. Oh, he's pretty big. Is he hooked good? Oh, yeah, he's hooked good. Okay. I can get him. Okay. Yeah! Woohoo! He was hooked good. I'm telling you, dude, we got this, uh, we got this yeah, thing figured buddy. out now, dude. Hell yeah. That's two and a half pounder. Oh, yeah. All day. All right, let's keep her rolling. Got one. Well, they got a size limit they got to be? <laughs> I don't think he's going to make it. <laughs> no. We need to move. We well, need to move. Scott, I thought hey, we were going we to go. go. get out of here. I'm going to let him go. We got to go. Leave him below the gunnel. Treat him nice because that could be a future five pounder. Spinner bait to the trick. Dude, Scott ran back in this bay like way early and we hadn't seen him all day. Yeah. Like, what are they doing? Are they catching them? They must be. Uh, um, fishing some areas that are sheltered or something. I don't think they're on the same pattern we are. The windy banks, they're definitely back in yeah. the deep and I, I just water. don't think they quite figured that windy bank thing I don't out. Think so, if yeah. they were, they'd be out here right, on us. Right, right. Nah, he's a keeper though. Good job, buddy. Number five right there. That's five, brother. Yeah, that's five. You gotta, you gotta start somewhere, you right. know? That's our smallest one. We'll know which one to call. But hey, strikes again, dog. Let's do it. Spanner bite. Oh yeah, nice dude. There we go. There we go, dude. Got us one. Man, I'm glad you're on my team, my friend. <laughs> dude, if you keep at this fishing, dude, you're gonna do big things. One day. <laughs> He's gonna do really big things one day. <laughs> Just look at that. You got him? Yep. Big one? Yeah, All right. Oh, Christ, yeah. Flip it. You got him good. Yeah, it's going to call me. Got him. There we go. Perfect cast. Nothing wrong with that. And you, if you notice, when I made that cast, I moved my rod to the left just so I paralleled that rock just perfectly. And that was the main reason, man. Yeah, for sure. Like, no doubt. That's definitely going to help. There's one. That's a small mouth. There he is. Again? Pretty good one. Pretty good thing. Oh, yes. Yeah, Scott. Yes. Hey, I can catch him, man. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Rainy Lake. I tell you, International Falls, Rainy Lake. This place is huge. I mean, thousands and thousands of acres full of nice smallmouth, pike, walleye, whatever you want to do. It's awesome place to come visit. And guys, You've got to check out Rainy Lake Houseboats. Rainy Lake Houseboats, you rent the houseboat, you take it out on the lake, you take your bass boats out with you, fish wherever you want. It's it's unbelievable. Good fish like that. That's, that's another good one, dude. That's a good one. That is a solid one. We can keep him in the, in the mix. All day, baby. Okay, All day. Yeah. That might not even help us. I feel better now. Not too bad. Yeah. For multiple heavier, reason he feels better. I went to a heavier chatterbait. And so here's a tip for you guys. So I was throwing the chatterbait and I really wasn't feeling, I wasn't hitting a lot of rocks. Oh, uh, you got good one? Smallmouth? Pike. Weigh this one. 
Alright. Good. I'm gonna weigh this one just yes. to get. Uh, is that a musk? Like a little musky, maybe? No, that does look different, doesn't it? It looks a little different. I think it's, I don't I think know it's what a it is. little musky. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> up on that. I'm not from Minnesota, so I don't know exactly. Okay. But I think it is. Two pounds, 2.20. All right, 2.20. 2.20. So we got us. That's our toothy critter balance. Our so far. Bonus right so there. far. All right, let me let him go. What we need to do, what we need to do in a little bit, I got an idea. Let me hear you. We're going to go find them. No, we're gonna, I'm not going to tell you yet. We're going to okay. go find them in a little bit, and we're going to do a toothy critter. Winner gets something. I got an idea. There you go, Scotty. Getting on the pike train. Pike train! You know, there's a lot of people, dude, that come up here to Rainy Lake just to catch pike. And there is like a lot of pike. And there's some big ones, yes. too. <laughs> Guys, we shot YouTube. If you want to see something really cool, jump over to the Scott Martin Challenge YouTube channel and search Scott Martin Challenge Beatdown. We did several videos and we caught some monster pike. Jacob Wheeler, Andrew, and Andy and I. It was an awesome, awesome several episodes we did. You got to check it out. It's, uh, if you want to see some big pike, I'm telling you. Biggins. You know, that houseboat though, man, like that's the way to go. Like, could you I imagine if we did that on tour? Yeah. I mean, oh my That'd God. Cool. Like, I wouldn't get much done. <laughs> oh, oh, there's one. Oh, piker. Pike. <laughs> See? Yeah. What I tell you, it don't matter. Like, you catch everything here, dude. <laughs> like, literally. Like, I caught him in the side. Yeah. Hey, you know what? If you want to have fun, I'm telling you, come to Rainy Lake, get your houseboat, stay for a week and just get away from everything. Turn your cell phone off yep. and relax. And that's what we've done this week. We've had so much fun, dude. Oh, it's just an awesome Like trip. a blast. It really is. And like I said, and if you really want to spoil yourself, get you a chef. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's might be a small amount. Maybe, know. maybe, maybe. Can't tell. Small, small amount. Oh, big, big one, one, dude. Big, big one. one. Big one. Four, dude. I know. Can we flip him? Oh my god. Gosh, you got me nervous too. <laughs> oh wow, that's a big one. Ooh, that's here. a real big one. You need a power pull down? You got yeah, power pull down. Oh! 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 Dude, that's a tank! That's a big one. Look how thick that fish is. Woo hoo hoo! Wow! There you go, Scotty. Show it to the camera. Right there. <laughs> Uh, that is awesome. That thing was fat, dude. <laughs> it was I mean, like, like, him. I said when he was eating all the crawdads. <laughs> yeah, there's no crawdads left on this whole shoreline. <laughs> They're all gone. They're gone. They're gone. That fish is unbelievable. Wow. I mean, it train wrecked that spinner. <laughs> 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 That's the kind we need to win. That's the kind we need to win. That is That's exactly. them. That is exactly. Gosh, that fish is like thick, dude. Put him over here. That's our limit, bro. That's our limit. Five. Yes. We, we got, got five, five of them. Oh my goodness. I'm going to grab them for you. Big pike. Big pike. Just take your time, pal. I'm going to grab them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a chunk. Oh, you can hear? Oh, it's a muskie. It's a muskie. That muskie is a fish of 10,000 casts. That's a rare fish. Congrats, pal. Dude, that's so awesome. Like, I never thought I'd catch a muskie. Yeah. I think we got this this uh, toothy critter oh, challenge in no, the book, They ain't, they ain't going to catch a bigger one than that. No. It's a nice one. That's a Rainy Lake special. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, I'll hold it. There he is. That was awesome. Oh, Big my gosh. Is. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! That was awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. It's like a game from oh. nowhere. Oh, that's a good one right yes, too. Yes, it is. That is a good one. I was like, what in the world? I didn't know if he got it or not. Goosh, like right there. He went, yep. I was like, goosh. Dude, awesome. Good stuff. All right. This is a good one. All right, we, all right, now we got to call. Let me drop the poles. Another good one. So here's what we got to do. We've got five or six more hours of daylight. We're catching a lot of fish. We need to go find Andy. I've got an idea. Oh, yes, I do. Here's the deal. We're going to close out this show. We're going to make it a two-parter. So next week, stay tuned. We're going to be back on the same exact lake. That's right, the same lake, Rainy Lake, to try to take these cats out. So thanks for watching the Scott Martin Challenge. We've had a ball so far. It's going to do nothing but get better. 
Don't miss it. We'll see you guys. Bam! A lot of wind. Yeah, a lot of wind. Sun came out. It's Windy Lake. Or it's was very, it Rainy Lake? It's it windy was Rainy Lake. It was Rainy Lake the last couple now days. Now it's Windy Lake. <laughs> now it's just Windy Lake. It's windy, it's rainy, it's a combination of it all. <laughs> Big giant waves, get you wet. Just... But the fish is awesome. I'm super excited about today's show, guys. We're back here on Rainy Lake. Got my teammate, Jacob Wheeler. What's up, guys? We're going against Andy Young and Andrew Upshaw. Part one was action packed, tons of fish. It was just all over the place. But we're back again. Rainy Lake here at International Falls, Minnesota, one of the most beautiful fisheries on the planet. It's going to be a good one. So, guys, here's what we're going to do we've got a box full of bass. I know y'all have a box full of bass. This is part two, Rainy Lake Challenge. Let's get after it. We've got some more fish to catch, boys. Yes, sir. You ready? You Let's ready? go, buddy. I ain't got time ready? to play. Are you ready? We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude, we, we for real have to beat them. I think they got a big bag, dude. Dude, no doubt. Upshaw, you can see he's got that cockiness, that, yeah. that confidence. That little, that little. That little sway, yeah. swag. Hey, yeah, this yeah. is how he is. He just like. <laughs> I mean, look at him posing over there. Yeah. Looking all goofy and stuff. Yo, so I'm not, a, I'm not about losing to Upshaw. No. Andy, I can deal with it. Hey. Y'all are going down, homie. Y'all ain't ready. You see, he's talking some smack right now, anyway. Good luck, boys. Boys are trying to get on our hole, trying to get on our spots. Looks like he's about to cut us off. Watch out, he's about to cut us off. No, no. Andy wouldn't do that. I don't That's think he would, is. Though. Uh, yeah, pretty sure it's a cutoff move. Oh, cut us off. He's got cut. Oh, and that's that's pretty sad, man. It's okay. I'm gonna pretend like it's a big one, dude. How big is it? Oh, are you gonna actually yeah. flip it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Come back here and get down. They ain't got nothing. They're faking it. Fakers. <laughs> they are totally faking it. Okay, so this is the fish that just got just caught. I'm trying to play these suckers real quick here. <laughs> Not a keeper, but it's okay. We're gonna let Brandon. This, that's a good one. Not really, though. No. Did he throw one back? I don't know. He kind of like slid it over the side. Yeah. If he did. I think Sneaky. They don't even know what happened. The fish was a pound, maybe, pound and a half. All they know is we just caught a four pounder. And uh, right now, whether they're saying it on camera or not, they're really, they're really messed up. I don't know if he was actually fake. I, think I don't think he was. Yeah. Yes. Mm, yes. Mm. Good Slop job, wood, brother. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. That's the one that's we needed, brother. Catch up. Look at that. Right through the beak. <laughs> Son, that's over four. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. There you go, Scotty. Ooh. There you go, buddy. She's going in the box. Biggin? Yep. Nice one. Not dude. a big one. But a sorry, solid sorry. one. Oh, that's gonna help. That's gonna help for sure. Gonna help. Yes. Good job, dude. Good yeah. job. Oh yeah, baby. We just lost another one. Magnum. God. Right before that. Get after there my friend. There we go. There we go. There you go, Wheeler. That's gonna help us, dude. Dude. Hey. That's Clutch. a solid Clutch. one right there. Three pounder. Dude, I'm gonna say this right now in front of everybody. Okay, national TV. <laughs> If you keep this fishing thing going, you're gonna do pretty good at it, I think. You could. Possibly. One day, one day I might. Maybe get make there. a career out of it. I don't know. <laughs> one day. Getting rid of that. We're working on a decent bag, guys. But it's gonna take a lot. I mean, again, we're dealing with some weather conditions today. This is such a big system though, you can kind of get out of the wind, and that's what we've done. We've picked a big arm here on Rainy Lake. Uh, 
A lot of fish. A lot of fish and a good grade of fish. And I think the potential of an 18 to maybe 20 pounds is doable. It's doable. Okay. I had to come out of this thing. Guys, uh, you know, you've been seeing me wear the AFCO gear for several years now. They've got everything from rainwear like I'm wearing right now to sun shirts, cold weather gear. This is a nice down jacket, lightweight, very comfortable. But let me tell you, rain suits are important. Rain suits are important not only to keep you dry, but also to keep you comfortable. This one right here is awesome because it actually supports in a lot of places, so it's not pulling down your shoulders. Your back doesn't start to hurt. This rain suit right here by AFCO is awesome and uh, just well built. It's a very heavy duty suit, but it's very comfortable to wear. So you guys need to check out AFCO. If, if you love to fish or you love to be in the outdoors, definitely check out AFCO. Uh, they've got just about everything you can imagine from fresh water to saltwater gear, tons of stuff. So we're doing pretty good. You know, last time we were here, I beat Scott pretty good, so. I mean, I really want to beat him again. <laughs> so, yeah, I've heard about that. You know, Scott's yeah. been kind of bitter about that whole he uh, has. loss. He has, yeah, yeah. You know, I'd sure like for us to just go ahead and get a repeat I for you. I think we can, man. This next lake's got him. He does, huh? Yeah. I think those guys are, 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 are struggling because they're running around an awful lot. That, that full, full on panic mode is set in. I think so. <laughs> Piker. Pike. Oh, he's gotten deep too. Thing took it sideways. I thought I had me a big one for a second. <laughs> that was exciting. I like just catching fish. I don't I care. Hear you there, brother. I want you to run it. All right. I want you to run it. I need magic out of you, dude. <laughs> We're getting slow on time, my friend. You got about yeah, three, three, couple, three couple three. hours. There we go. Oh yeah. That's gonna help, boys. <laughs> yeah. What's that? What's that? Two and a half? Oh yeah, all day. Okay. Maybe a little bit bigger. Like and the small one. We, we got one small one in here. Or not a little bit smaller. Dude, that's a three. All is day. it? You think so? Yeah. You know what we're targeting, guys, is we're targeting these these shallow smallmouth. On Rainy Lake, you can catch them out deep, but obviously it's blowing really bad. So we've been going up in these bays and getting these back back little marshes and finding the rock. You know, you look around, there's a lot of grass, but there's rock veins that stick out. And that's where those fish will be. They'll be on that inside of that grass between the inside grass line and that rock right there. Spinner baits, chatter baits, been kind of our main, you know, deal. But that's the key. You just gotta find that rock. You know, if you want to target smallmouth, smallmouth like rock. So you can go into these shallow bays in the fall and catch a lot of fish because we'll be up around this stuff feeding on crayfish and feeding on the bait fish that are in here blown in. Hey, I got a little tip for you guys. When you get bit in a piece of cover like this, always, always throw back. That thing bit three different times and we finally got it on the third time. So, I mean, even if you touch them or nick them or something, if you get bit in a piece of cover like this, make sure you always throw back in there more than once. I, I mean, we- Especially smallmouth. Especially smallmouth. Smallmouth are notorious for biting multiple times. Right. I mean, I lost that fish twice. Yeah. And he flipped yeah. back in the exact same spot where I was and jacked it in the first flip. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It's awesome. <laughs> what is it? Like, hooked in the side or something? Look at that guy. I'm hooking the tail. <laughs> or in the side. <laughs> Got him hooked in the side. Well, how does it even happen? I don't even know. Look at that thing. Dang. That's crazy, dude. It's got so good, if you don't even want to bite it, he's going to hook you in the side no matter Dang. what. He's going to get you. I think that might be the 87th pike that I've caught today. I think 87. If not, it was, it was it's 85. For sure. It's a lot of pike, dude. Lots if of If you them. like pike fishing. This place. Just come on. Get, <laughs> come just get done watching it. the show. Get in your car and come to Rainy Lake and go pike fishing. And they got them like They're big, everywhere. Big and stupid. Yeah. Everywhere. They swiped I thought it was him. I thought it was him, dude. I know you did. You were, you were jacked up on it. I was like, ah. I got so much pike slime on this rod handle, dude. The whole thing's gonna fly out of my hand <laughs> if I get really hit. <laughs> that was fast. I got him. I got him. You got him? Yep. I don't think he'll help, but I got him. Oh, I tore a pincher off. 
I mean, you nailed that sucker. Thought it was a pike. That's not gonna help, but I'm gonna weigh him anyway. All right, I'll go back here and see if he helps us. I don't think he's going to, but I'm gonna check, okay? Chatterbaits, spinnerbaits, top water, flipping. You can do it all here. You can do it all here. And that's Swim what you're We had it all. Swim jig's been <laughs> awesome. Like Doc was like. You're like Stop! <laughs> I don't even know how to shake that thing like that, dude. Make me dizzy. <laughs> Got it in Sea Show 1. Look at these big dudes. That's a rainy lake fish. This one right here, not so much. But we, we do have a couple over here that are kind of small. Nope. Nope. It's not going to help us, dude. Nope. Ha! <laughs> That's a good thing, my friend. Isn't this a beautiful place? Yeah, man. I like, mean, just, God, just being up here is just uh, takes all the stress away and it's just so beautiful, you know? <laughs> the only stressful thing we've had this week is wind. Yeah, exactly. But you know what, the thing is, is it doesn't take away from the beauty of this exactly. place. Exactly. Like, it's just like, I'm telling you, like, we honestly have not seen, we saw that one boat one twice. One boat, yeah. This whole time, you yeah. know, and, and there's so many different lakes and little arms and fingers, you can get lost in this place real easy. Yeah. So make sure you have a good GPS if you do come up here. This thing is very vast and just gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, 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 good small mouth. Good one, dude. Good one. Oh, that might help. Might I'll help. go back there and check, dude. Heck yeah. Look at that, guys. It's called, it's called a clutch fish right there. Guy, we need right. every ounce. You run it, dude. I'll go see what's up. Oh, Andy's got him one. A little one. Another one. There we go. That's a nice little fish. Got him on the old clipping rod. He's not going to help, but that's a fun little fish to catch. Look at that. Pretty, ain't they? We need to find those ones that'll eat that one. Though. Right. <laughs> Every fish is going to matter right now. And I'm telling you, we can have to capitalize on every single bite. Scott caught that one fish, gained a couple ounces, and, and that's the difference. It could be the difference maker that, that helps us win. Man, Andy, did you know that back in the day, Wheeler and I were team partners? Really? Yeah. We no, actually I didn't fished know team, that. Team tournaments together in oh, Texas. Oh, cool. You know, he and I became really good friends, but you know what? The one thing I love about Wheeler is beating Wheeler. Oh, God, yeah. Because, like, when you beat Wheeler, it's not necessarily that you're beating one of the best in the world, because he is definitely one of the best in the world, if not yeah. the best. Yeah, he's number one right but, now. But, you know, the thing yeah. is, I like beating Wheeler because it gets in his head. <laughs> and then, like, you want to see a guy just completely lose his mind because he's, he breaks down everything from a knot to uh, the line to the rod. I mean, like, minute detail. Yeah. And he's got to figure out why he didn't win. Oh, I just don't want to lose that shot. Gosh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. We got to win this thing. I dude. know, brother. We oh, well, look out. That was a bite. You know, I've been carrying this angle in my boat for about three years now, this little white one. Man, it's seen, it's seen a lot of cool fisheries. And when you're out on a remote trip like this, we're staying in the houseboats at Rainy Lake Houseboats. It's a really cool deal. We take the houseboats out on Rainy Lake. We tie them up on a remote island. We have these boats all parked. We bring our ice on the houseboat, and then we pack our coolers full of ice. So you need to have a good, trusty cooler. This angle right here, this one is a 25 quart. It's perfect for my bass boat. Plenty of room for lots of extra drinks. And I use my, actually my onboard cooler as kind of my extra drink spot and even my trash. So you guys are in the market for a cooler, you gotta check out Engle. I mean, they're pretty, Pretty unbelievable coolers, and they've got everything. Regular coolers, they've got fridge freezers, ACDC fridge freezers. They've got little backpacks. Engel has it all. It's coming in the boat. Mm. Heck yeah. He went back to that log, holy cow. I don't know if he's gonna help. He might, he might. not. He's gotta be 277 or uh, something. I think he's close to three. Heck yeah, dude. Oh god, how many times did we cast at that song gun? A ton. I can't believe we recaught that song. I know we I, dude, I told you like <laughs> you were right. 
I knew he would fight again, man. Like, they're just crazy. These yeah. smallmouth here, rainy lake, everywhere. And anytime you're fishing for smallmouth, if you lose that fish, you miss that fish, come back. Especially and you if he's catch sitting them. on something. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, if they're sitting on an object, a piece of structure, they're gonna bite again. You just gotta figure out what they're gonna bite. I threw my little Ocho in there and bit it, didn't eat it. He flipped his little D-bomb in there and smoked it. That's the way we do it, man. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh one? my gosh. No. Dang. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Good small in, in the grass. grass. In the grass, dude. That's dude, crazy. That's what you were talking about. That, that You could see the rock right there in that little shade pocket. Right in that grass. That fish was sitting there eating crawdads. Gosh, man. We just need a four pounder. We need a four. Need Come a on, four. four. Pounder. Buddy, where, where, where's your daddy at? Come where's on. Where's your daddy? Here's, here's what it is for me. It's like this area, International Falls, Rainy Lake, right here on the US side. It's like when you fish, you feel like these fish probably have never seen a lure. Yeah, it's, it's unlike any other place I've ever yeah. fished in my entire life. And you and just look at the map the and country. just you're weave like, around and I, just go. Yeah, when you look at this map, you're like, you look at the lake yeah. and there's like 200,000 acres of yeah. water. Yeah, huge. What? Huge. You can never fish it all in no, a lifetime. No. There he is. There he is, dude. Got him. There we go. That one actually might help a little bit, Scotty. We'll call these, this is the clutch move right here. And they're out there in that wind. We'll catch them. Good boys. I don't know if he's going to help us or not. We'll go find out. I know we got a pretty good bag, but do we have enough? I think we do. I really think we do. With it, that kicker, I think we got it. It's gonna be coming down to ounces, dude. Ounces. It's gonna be close. All right, bro, we did the best we could do. Yeah. All I can tell you is that we're gonna weigh them. We're gonna go back to the houseboat there at International Falls. Boat's parked now, they came off the lake. Let's see who wins. Regardless of what happens, dude, this was a heck of a challenge. Like I enjoyed spending out, dude. getting the time spend some time out here on Rainy Lake, a place that I've never been to, something that I'm definitely gonna come back to. This place is just something truly special, but on top of that, man, I really enjoy just having a good time. Oh, I gotta hug you, man. And I hanging out, hug man, it's, been, it's been a minute, so I truly enjoy, <laughs> and I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so you got us on Toothy Critter, but the most important one, the one that I really care about, and the one that Jacob cares about, right. that we really all care about, is our total weight. Our five bass today weighed a total of 18 pounds. Boy, there, look at his mouth is open. 18, 18 pounds, 18 pounds. Point zero 0.01. So we had 18 pounds. Dang it. Okay, guys. Our total weight was 19.84. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Scotty. Dude, I knew we caught them, but I didn't know we caught them that much better than those guys. We put the hurt into those dudes. They weren't ready for what we had to offer. We got bragging rights for the whole year. Absolutely. Okay. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching today's show. We had an absolute blast. They took our hats. We fought as hard as we could. Hopefully you learned a few things, but stay tuned. Next week, we're going to be on a new lake with a whole new challenge. Thanks for watching the Scott Martin Challenge, guys. We gone. Right. Dang it, I can't believe we lost again. <laughs> Dude, I know y'all guys are sore losers, but we'll rematch you anytime up here. Two steaks from us, please. <laughs> we need two steaks. <laughs>